Hi Aquarians, I hope that you're doing well. I'm really sorry. I, uh, I was doing your reading and I had a problem with the webcam. Regardless, welcome back to all of my incredible supporters. You guys are amazing. You really are. I love you Aquas. I do. Um, if you are not a subscriber and you're just stopping in to check it out, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy what you see. And if you want to join the club, go ahead and hit subscribe. Stay with us. For those of you that would like a private reading that's specific to your own unique situation, you can contact me um, by booking on my website. And the link to that is in the description box below. So as I was saying, I got, I started reading and then had some technical issues. So I'll just go over it again from where we started. My poor aquas, it looks as though you may have had some external conflict or competition. There was something externally here that was causing you grief. It may have been competition in terms of work, competition in terms of love, competition in terms of family, competition in terms of friends, but I feel as though that there was some backstabbing and some lies and some betrayal but the good news is, is with this Ten of Swords that has come out, crossing this Five of Wands conflict, it's now at its end. You may have found some truth out, but even if it was painful, don't worry about it, you guys, because that light is exactly what you needed. You needed the truth to come out in order to make changes for yourself um, and to possibly get rid of the conflict. And you can't do that unless you really know what's going on. And the good news too with the Ten of Swords is, is that you won't get any more pain from that source, okay? So whoever that was, it's done now. It's done, unless you choose to go back to it. But I feel as though mentally you've reached the end of it. Um, I don't think you are going to bother pondering anymore on the situation, right? Um, in the foundation, unrest with this four of swords energy all right so you may not have been getting a lot of rest you may not feel as though things are gonna get better you may not have been taking enough time for yourself you may not have um, even spent enough time recovering yet from whatever this situation is but that's what spirit is asking you to do all right because spirit wants you to be happy, healthy, and put together. So in order to do that, you definitely need some, you need to retreat, if you will, from the outside world, or the suggestion would be, sorry, to retreat or to rest, or to just renew yourself by giving yourself the opportunity to heal over the situation, okay? In fact, you may have even let somebody back in who had continued to do that, but now you're finally at, or continued to hurt you, but now you're at the point looks like we're no more in the recent past I see the knight of pentacles so that's a very slow moving knight um, this individual usually is reliable they're patient and they're a hard worker perhaps you were at work and you were trying to implement some changes or maybe you were trying to lay down a process and you got pushback and backstabbing from colleagues who didn't like what you were trying to implement. It's possible. Uh, for others of you, you may have been trying to find a way to make more money, or this could have been a person that you were dealing with. So you could have been putting action into learning new things, trying new things. Maybe even you started a new job as of late and maybe that's one of the hard lessons that you had to learn was who, who these people are in the office. Um, for others of you, if it was a relationship, I think that you were very careful and maybe you were moving a little slow or they were moving a little slow and maybe you found out that the reason why they weren't moving so much is because they had other options as possible, okay? But regardless, there, there just wasn't a lot of movement in the past in terms of whatever 
um, this situation was. And I don't think that you felt as though you were on firm footing. The energy now regarding this situation is the nine of wands, wounded warrior energy. So you've been through a lot. Whoever this is, you, you kept your will, your determination. You, you continued to go for whatever it was that you desired. But it's possible that you did it to the detriment of yourself by maybe not being able to see clearly the types of people that you were dealing with. Perhaps you were too determined and there couldn't be compromise or the person you were dealing with was too determined and there couldn't be compromise. But at the end of the day, you have gone through a lot here. So again, that is why I believe spirit is suggesting take some good time for rest, All right? In the near future, here you go. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy back there. But the Page of Swords is somebody who's usually curious or they could be a gossip or they could be spying or, or prying all right or trying to get to the truth so i'm thinking that somebody might be spying on you or gossiping about you in the near future i don't know who it is that you have around you but um and i also i read the cards honestly so please don't shoot the messenger if you can't handle the messages then i'm probably not the reader for you because i'm i'm honest in what i see I'm not going to sugarcoat it for views or, um, you know, to get you to keep coming back. I'm going to tell you the truth because <laughs> these, these messages, they're not mine. They're for you. And I feel that in the near future, you might continue to experience some gossip or you're going to find out a truth. Maybe you'll hear it through gossip. So possibly whatever this situation is, hasn't happened just yet, but it's going to. And then you're gonna have that truth and that clarity, and you're gonna be able to make appropriate decisions on next steps. So let's get some clarity, Spirit. What is the Knight of Pentacles about for Aquarius? Nine of Swords. Usually that is extreme anxiety, extreme worry, basically your thoughts getting out of control like you you can't slow them down maybe I don't know what what this anxiety was about though because I'm really getting this feeling like maybe nightmares or grief and and depression and anxiety like it, it's just who whoever this was or whatever it was that you were dealing with I'm just so sorry because I think that it it really took the wind out of your sails. But the good thing is, is that's over now. Okay? And maybe that's what the release was. And if it hasn't happened yet, it will. And it's going to release you from all kinds of thoughts or nightmares. If you're having nightmares or bad dreams, it's going to release you from those fears. Okay? Nine of Wands going forward. What is the Nine of Wands, please, Spirit, for Aquarius? Nine of Wands. Yeah, okay. Normally, the Ace of Cups is about a new relationship or a new proposal of some sort or um, a marriage. If you are married, it's possible that you're not getting along at the moment and you're still going to push for it because you love the person that you're with but i think that it's just taking a big toll on you it really is but the good thing is is that this nine of swords and then you have the ten of swords it's coming to an ending whatever this conflict was or whatever the issues were it doesn't even have to be major could have even just been fighting over where you're going to place furniture in the house fighting over simple little things just butting heads on wants and needs right some of you who aren't in a relationship i feel like my interpretation is 
you may have been getting to know somebody as we were talking about, but now you've seen enough or you will see something that is going to make you feel a little bit defensive and you might choose to end the relationship because 10 of swords is also about endings. Okay. But again, it's for your highest good. It really truly is. It's, it's guiding you to where you're supposed to be. Rejection is protection. What is this page of swords? Please spirit. Let's get some more clarity on that for aquas. And if it's a work situation, that's all right, because you're going to end up moving towards something, maybe a new job that will make you a lot happier. Because when you think about it, jobs are very difficult, right? Because you're dealing with the personalities and all of the different types of people that are situated in it. And these are not normally people that you would get into relationships with. So it's like you have to force yourself to get along. You have to force yourself to work around whatever it is that they throw at you. And it can be very tough, especially I'm getting gang mentality. I'm getting mob mentality, um, especially when you're up against a number of people, right? It can get very tiring. It can get very frustrating. It can get confusing. And then it can also get hard to remember how you're supposed to deal with each person and what it is and what it takes to be successful in the connection with each one, right? Because there's, it, it's a lot. So this page of swords in the future, please, for aquas. Page of swords. Yeah. Somebody's ego is going to get knocked down here. This is going to be gossip, unfortunately, because normally this is about recognition and feeling good about themselves, but don't whoever this is don't let their nasty words be internalized and affect your self-esteem all right because i feel like you can't have a victory but whoever this person is maybe they said some nasty things done some nasty things they're not the best energy around you right now and if this is a friend or a family member it might be good to start exploring boundary setting with this individual because I don't feel that they build you up and it's because they don't feel secure within themselves. So I feel that they're trying to bring you down. They don't like the recognition that you get. So they could be spreading lies or gossip about you because they're jealous, right? And if it's not about jealousy, it's because they don't understand. They don't understand the way that you work. And instead of trying to understand, they take the juvenile approach by just trying to destroy somebody by bringing in a bunch of other people pack mentality mob mentality yet again you know the the popular kids it's just i feel like this is just so immature whoever this person is that you are dealing with and i would take spirit's advice here and i would maybe take a step away for a little while so that you can clear your thoughts and get yourself in a better position and because this is coming up in the near future, it's good that you're prepared for it because now you understand why they're doing it and hopefully you're not going to internalize their issues. So what is gonna be the outcome for Aquarius, please spirit? Let's get this card, this deck. What's gonna be the outcome for my aquas in a few weeks time? Queen of Cups. Okay, good. You're gonna start balancing out your emotions, balancing out, um, the the feelings that come along with this type of a situation i think you're going to start really getting a good handle on not allowing it to affect you you may even get some support or empathy somebody who's going to come along who's very nurturing caring loving could be a water sign um cancer pisces scorpio but they are going to i feel assist in this situation they're going to offer you support beautiful so be sure you're open to receiving it wow and the king of cups as well look at that cancer pisces scorpio energy somebody who could be a therapist some of you might even get some therapy to deal if it's um if it's been long-term struggles in a marriage perhaps maybe that that might help right because it'll help you sort out what exactly is going on and get that balance um or maybe the person that you're dealing with 
they might get some help to deal with how they're showing up. Because this is somebody who's very wise and tolerant and patient, intuitive. Yeah, it'll help free you from that mental prison that you've been in back here. Going over and over and over and around and around and around, trying to find solutions to problems. But remember too, you can't um, solve problems on your own. People have to be willing to work together. And if these people are not willing to work with you, then rightly so, there's going to be some endings and you have every right. Okay? You can't reason with unreasonable. All right, Aquas. Sending you so much love. Keep your chin up and everything is going to get better. Always does. Just another lesson, right? All right. See you guys soon. Bye.